morning and happy Sunday. It is the 23rd of June, I believe, and it is about 7.45, I think, in the morning. I slept in a little bit this morning. I woke up at 6.45, like, just naturally, and because my body's just kind of, like, on that clock of waking up, like, at around 6. <clears throat> and then um, I kind of stayed in bed. Brian was out in the living room. He came in bed, and we just, like, laid together for a little while, and then I got up around 7, 7.15. And the first thing I do on Sundays is typically exactly what I do in the morning all of the rest of the week I um, drink a bunch of water I make some coffee and then I sit down with my rise up journal and I plan my week I plan my week on Sunday as soon as I wake up every single morning because my rise up journal I this is the journal that I created if you don't know what this is I created my own journal because I was I never found one journal that was everything I wanted. I ended up having like three different journals for like menu planning and grocery shopping and then I would have one for journaling and then one for, it was just like all, uh, so many just half finished journals everywhere and I really wanted to create something. So I'm gonna show you guys if you've never seen, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use my Rise Up journal and what I love about what I've created was that on Sundays, I, you guys know I'm such a planner, I love to plan. So on Sunday, I actually have um, a spot for menu planning. This is the menu planning section right here. I can show you in greater detail, but it goes by every single day, Monday through Saturday, what I'm gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and my snacks. So, and then um, there's that section of the journal, and then there's a grocery list section. So I bring this to the grocery store with me. It's all in this one journal, it's incredible. And then I have um, a place where I plan out my workout schedule. What day I'm gonna train what muscle group, when am I gonna do cardio, when am I gonna go to this class? So um, it really makes it very simple to plan my week, and I do this as soon as I wake up, because I know on Sundays I have to go grocery shopping, I don't want to plan my day of eating mid Sunday so that I have to go grocery shopping late and then cook late um, so that's what I do immediately when I wake up so let me show you the things that I have planned for this week so this is what my rise up journal the first page on Sunday looks like so this is the weekly menu monday through saturday we are traveling so that's why this is a question mark because we don't know if we're leaving on thursday or or and then we are gone friday and saturday so that's why those are blank uh, but i usually fill those out this is my grocery list and this is my workout schedule so the way that i tackle this rise up journal and then up here just so you guys know if you don't have the rise up journal a lot of people do a lot of people love it uh because it's so organized but this is a little positive mantra and some breathing exercises and this is on every page so the positive mantra is on every page and this week's positive mantra says i am capable of change from now on i choose to let go of the lies i tell myself and opened my mind and heart to achieving the greatness i desire so as soon as i wake up that's the first thing i see which that's the first thing you should fill your brain with something positive like that so that's why it's on there's a positive mantra on every page so the way that i tackle this especially on sunday is first i establish my workout schedule i want to know what i'm working out when because that correlates with what i'm eating so if i'm training legs i might be eating a more calorie dense more carb heavy dinner or something or you know whatever and then if i have a rest day maybe i have a lighter meal so that's i always start with my workout schedule and then i go to my my menu planning and this is when i um oh, excuse me my throat i always have my curry oats every single day curry oats curry oats curry oats for breakfast my lunch is going to be the lunch that you guys actually saw in my last video the crock pot buffalo chicken it was that good where i'm repeating it every single day for lunch this week because it was so good and i'm actually going to have it with a little vegetable medley that i'm going to make i wrote it right here um, i'm going to make it with butternut squash um sweet potatoes and like zucchini and yellow squash i'm just gonna make a big medley of that and keep it in a tubware today i'm gonna make that so i have my little vegetable medley for my um lettuce wraps and then tomorrow night for dinner i'm gonna be making some crock pot curry chicken with vegetables and potatoes the b and c just reminds me that i want the veggies i want to have is broccoli and cauliflower for that 
Um, Tuesday's dinner is going to be steak potato, uh, a baked potato and buffalo cauliflower roasted in the oven. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna do a scallop stir fry and the stir fry is going to be with uh, brown rice, broccoli and sugar snap peas. And then Thursday, I am leaving as a question mark if we do stay home and we don't end up leaving on Thursday for our trip. I'm gonna be trying, I've never made this before, I just kind of came up with it in my head. I'm going to be trying to make some type of chicken Alfredo with spaghetti squash and broccoli. I'm gonna make bake it in like a big casserole dish so it's kind of like a one, one pan, one dish meal that I can just like forget about. Um, so that's what my week looks like in terms of my menu and then my grocery shopping list I take this to the grocery store with me so if you are interested in purchasing one of these I mean I don't see why you wouldn't honestly yes I created this so I might be biased but why not have one journal that you can take everywhere with you that's small it's not huge and bulky fits in your purse fits in your gym bag so I will leave that in the description below if you want to purchase it and then um, so today is Sunday, so I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go to Planet Fitness for the first time in the longest time and hit a back workout because I've been skipping back a lot. My back is pretty muscular and shredded, so it's not like I really need to build my back. So I think because I have skipped um, back for a couple weeks now, I'm gonna go and just get like a really quick 45 minute workout and I'm gonna put a timer on do 45 minutes, I'm gonna come back here, have something for breakfast, and then head on out to church, and then grocery shop and meal prep. So I am not gonna take you along to my workout, just, and I'm sorry if that bothers you or bums you out, but I want to save this video and have it be short and sweet and to the point and to show you how what I'm like what I meal prep, how I'm planning out my my menu for the week and things like that, just to help you guys with being more organized when it comes to planning your week. Because if you are organized when it comes to planning your week, waking up on Monday is like just easy. So I will catch you guys probably after the grocery store and I'll show you everything that I got. And I am planning on making some veggie or shrimp spring rolls today totally making it up i have no idea but i just saw the ingredients in the grocery store and i really want to make them today so if i do end up making those i want to save enough time in this video for that recipe so i will catch you guys after probably in, in the afternoon sometime so see you soon hey guys so it has been quite the day it is many hours later it is i don't even know what time it is um because the oven is on and i don't have my phone on me but we were out all day long we went to church we are upgrading my wedding ring so we were at the jeweler for quite some time picking out a ring which i will keep you guys posted on that um and then we went grocery shopping oh and we went out to eat i was going to make shrimp um spring rolls from scratch but we were at the jeweler for longer than we expected and we were really hungry after church so we just went to our favorite restaurant our thai restaurant that we love in delray beach very healthy very low calorie so good um and then we went grocery shopping we went to trader joe's aldi and then stopped at walmart because i could not find a butternut squash anywhere so let me show you everything that i got and i'll explain to you what i got and why why i got it Okay, ignore Bailey. There, uh, there are people mowing our lawn, and so she's barking at them. But we got paper towels, <laughs> um, white and brown rice from Trader Joe's. This is microwavable. It microwaves in three minutes. It's so easy. There's only three or four, I think, four bags in each box, so we get two boxes for Brian. And then I get a brown rice for me, and I just keep this in the freezer. And this, I don't really eat rice too often because rice doesn't get me full, so um, I don't eat it too often. But I did get myself a box as well. I got um, so these kind of go together. My Frank's red hot wing sauce for my buffalo chicken that I need to put in the crock pot right after I finish talking to you. And then I got one of these uh, fat free Greek yogurts for when the crock pot buffalo chicken is done. I can cream it up by using one whole container of Greek yogurt. And then I'm also doing buffalo cauliflower this week with steak for dinner on. Tuesday or something. I don't remember what day, but steak, um, a baked potato, and then buffalo cauliflower. So I will be 
um, seasoning the cauliflower with this Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. And if you don't know, you guys, it's zero everything. So I love this hot sauce. So good. Um, I get these little chocolates from Trader Joe's whenever I have a sweet tooth. The serving size is two of these, and they're pretty big. It's a big uh, triangle, and they're filled with caramel, and it's only 60 calories for two, which is really good. So I got these. I always like to have them just in the house. I got organic cherry tomatoes for, I eat tomatoes constantly, to be honest, um, for my savory oats mainly every morning. I love tomatoes and egg whites. So I got a big old organic container of those. Trader Joe's had these really cute mints. They were cucumber watermelon sugar-free mints. And so just like kind of like to give myself a little refresher, I wanted to buy those. And right now I'm obsessed with steamed broccoli to like kind of weird obsession right now. Like I could eat all of this in one sitting and be really happy. So I got three bags of broccoli, two heads of cauliflower, and then raspberries uh, just for Brian and I kind of just like to snack on pretty much like in the morning when we, when we, the first thing that we do when we wake up is maybe like grab a, a handful of these sugar snap peas because I will be doing a stir fry later this week. It's going to be like a scallop stir fry with broccoli and sugar snap peas. I got a ton of citrus. I always need to have citrus in my house. I got beets for my um, oatmeal, my savory oatmeal. Beets are really good for you, so I want I have one beet every day. And then I also got organic spinach for my savory oats. I just got one container because I do have some spinach in the fridge, so I don't want it to go bad, and we are traveling later this week. I got a bag of organic sweet potato. I got two russet potatoes for when I do baked potato with our steak later this week. I got two containers of mushrooms. I like to buy them whole and then I just wash them and cut them myself. I just kind of like it better that way. I got one Envy apple. Envy apples are my absolute favorite. So I just always like to have an apple on hand just for a quick carb and energy source. Got cilantro because we are big cilantro lovers. Uh, Brian eats like <laughs> five bananas a day. So we got bananas. I am going to be making a vegetable medley, which I am going to be meal prepping. I can show you um, like the finished product or kind of like give you information when I'm making it, but it's just going to be one zucchini, one yellow squash, butternut squash, and then I'm going to just chop up probably one big um sweet potato and just make it be a big medley that I can have for lunch uh, as a side with my buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. Then I got one big old bag of gluten-free oats because I am out. I will be filling it up. This is where I keep my oats and I'm all out. So oatmeal every single day and then three uh, containers or whatever you want to call this packages of organic chicken breast and then for dinner tonight this looked good it looks like I've never had perch before and um, it looked really good and needy so that's gonna be dinner tonight probably with sweet potato and steamed broccoli because I love steamed broccoli and then something else I got which I just tried one of these they're so good oh my god chili spiced mango it is sweetened dry mango with uh, like a chili lime seasoning on it and um it is mango so it's all carbs because it's you know dried mango and um a serving size is half a cup 40 grams and to be honest they really are light so i feel i mean okay there's six servings so i guess six servings that probably i guess like only a couple of them would be a serving size i don't know but I just got them just if I need something sweet or just like want to snack on something really quick or maybe like have one of these and run out the door to go. Okay. Have one of these and run out the door to the gym. I thought it was perfect. So this is something that I in the past probably would have binge ate and I'm kind of over. I don't binge eat anymore. I have gained control. Thank God. So this is going to be great just to keep on hand whenever I'm feeling hungry or just want to like snack on something really quick. These were very, very good. If you struggle with eating, like binge eating, I would not get these because they are very good. And um, that is it. So right now I am preheating my oven to 425 and I am going to just to fill you guys in. 
I am going to chop up this entire butternut squash. I am going to chop up one of these sweet potatoes and I'm gonna roast them in the oven together on 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna cut these up, the squash up, and I'm just gonna, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I'm going to steam them on the stove and then just have this as my side for my lunch. So that is what I'm doing here. I don't really know what I'm gonna season it with yet, so I will keep you posted. Aren't you glad to meet me? and I did not charge my camera and it's blinking at me, it's gonna die. So I just wanted to show you how I um, cut up my butternut squash and you can buy them pre-chopped, but I just like how they taste better when I do it myself because I get to control like what they look like, how big they are, and usually what I found when they come in the bag, hold on, let me turn my music off so I don't get a copyright claim. <laughs> um, what I have found when I buy the bags of the butternut squash, they're all different sizes. And then at the end of the bag, you just get like slivers of squash and you can't even use it. So I like to cut my own. I'm just gonna roast it in the oven at 425, season it with salt and chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. If you don't have Trader Joe's by you, this is an equivalent. It'll be probably found either in the seasoning aisle or the Hispanic aisle. It's tahine, tahine. I think that's how you say it. Um, chili lime seasoning, that's what it looks like. So if you don't have Trader Joe's around you, look for the tahine, uh, it's the same thing. And so I'm gonna roast that for about 25 minutes, I'm guessing, and I'm gonna charge my camera, so I will show you the finished product once my camera has a little bit more charge. I think I'm going to end this video here. I wanted to just kind of show you a typical Sunday, um, just to kind of go over how I meal prep now for Brian and I. So this is my crock pot that is cooking the chicken, my um, buffalo chicken, um, shredded buffalo chicken that I'm gonna put in lettuce wraps. And I'm sorry, I have no makeup on and all of these little bumps are just going away from when I got a deep pore facial that really messed up my skin really bad. So there's just some dots that are going away, but it's okay, no makeup on, I'm just embracing it. But so this is my meal prep, um, my meal prep um, protein that I'm gonna make for the week. I was so addicted to it last week. I looked forward to it every single day and when I ran out of it, I was like genuinely like upset. So all that's in here is chicken that I seasoned with salt and jerk seasoning from the fresh market. And then I covered the chi uh, the chicken breast with Frank Red Hot uh, wing sauce. I didn't like smother it or anything like that. I just simply put it so it like kind of just like drizzled it over the chicken a little bit. And then I added about a quarter of a cup of water and that's it. And I put it on high for six hours and I just let it go. So that is gonna be my protein. And then for, it's gonna be lettuce wraps because it gives a lot of volume and it really, really does fill me up. And then for my side, I made this little vegetable medley right here with butternut squash, sweet potatoes, and zucchini and um, yellow squash. And I just steamed, I cut the zucchini and the yellow squash really big because when you steam this, it steams very quickly. So I did it, I literally steamed it I put the timer on for two minutes and it was perfect. What I do for Brian as of recently for meal prepping for him, 
I will make something in the crock pot on Monday night and I'll just make an ex I'll make a huge portion of it so he takes it to work with rice. And so usually that's like my crock pot pork. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a crock pot curry dish where I do a curry sauce from the supermarket, chicken breast, um, vegetables. I'm gonna do broccoli and cauliflower and then sweet potatoes. And it all cooks in the crock pot. Don't worry, I will show you that at a later video. So that's actually what I do for him. I use my dinners as his meal prep and I just make an extra serving or two. And so he has uh, lunches the next day. And then um, I just wanted to point out uh, just, and I know I've been talking a lot in this video, but I want to give a lot of value in this video. So I just wanted to say a couple of things that are staples every single week are berries. We always make sure to have fresh berries or at least an apple or banana, something fruit so we can get like a quick carb. There's no excuse. I don't think um, if you have berries in the fridge, you can pop them really quick in your mouth. And another staple, Honestly, I don't even want to go back there because my fridge is a mess. So I'm not going to show you but two staples one is always hard-boiled eggs I buy a bag that's already hard-boiled um, You can make them at home, but I just get like the Eggland's best all-natural whatever um, organic hard-boiled eggs and then I have boxes <laughs> boxes plural of Revival by Jack cookies if you don't know what those are comment below or I mean I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you're familiar with them they're just um, these cookies that are all natural they are like so good and they're in coconut oil and they're they're just really really good so I always make sure to have those on hand um, because honestly like that can be a meal I can have that and like a piece of chicken and like that's a perfect meal because they are a little bit higher calorie because she uses all natural like organic sugar organic coconut oil it's not a bunch of fake artificial stuff always have rice cakes always 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 um i always have these little chocolate triangles just in case for like a night time if i'm like oh i need chocolate and i just have like a square or two of those um and nuts i always this is a go-to snack of mine just really quick throughout the day is coconut cashews from aldi oh they're so good i'm obsessed with them and what other staples i think that's really it i mean I always have like oats for a quick meal. I have microwavable oats for a quick meal. We always have microwavable rice, always, always. And then granola. Um, we have like a bunch of different types of granola. We have beef jerky or turkey jerky, I guess. Um, rice cakes, almond butter is in the fridge. I never really eat almond butter to be honest anymore, but I do have it if I need something. Um, so yeah, I think that is it for all that I wanted to talk about. And if you, like I work from home and I still meal prep. I don't do it like such an extensive meal prep like I used to because I do work from home. But you see, like I have my lunch done. My breakfast I make when I get home from the gym and then my snack is able, I'm able to make it in literally five minutes or less. So. I love it. My house is clean. I did the laundry. I cleaned the bedroom. I cleaned the living room. Just kind of straightened everything up. And it just feels really good. I'm gonna make dinner right now. It's gonna be a quick and easy dinner. The broccoli is going to steam for four minutes. Sweet potatoes, there's only 10 minutes left. And then this perch is gonna cook six minutes, three minutes on each side probably. And done, so quick and easy. So when you are like oh i don't know what to eat i'm stressed out for what to eat don't overcomplicate it because get a nice fish and sear it on the stove get some broccoli and um, steam it i'm gonna season it just with probably some garlic powder some salt and lemon juice and it's so good and then the sweet potato i just seasoned with that tahini dress um seasoning the chili lime seasoning and that's it but it's so i mean and i'm gonna saute up the perch in coconut oil so i have my healthy fats my protein i have my broccoli and then the sweet potato so easy so fresh so good it doesn't have to be complicated you don't have to make a meal that is like this like amazingly crazy it like it can just be a protein a carb a fat and a veggie that simple so um yeah that's all i really wanted to show you today that i still do really take my sundays very seriously and you know some sundays are not as productive as this one was i feel really good about this sunday some sundays are more lazy but i have to say i feel so much better on the sundays that i get my stuff done and then on monday i wake up just feeling like calm with zero stress so that's it i'm excited for to take on the the week it's going to be a great week and then just in case i get questions this dress this is like 
um, a tie that is like kind of falling off. So just imagine it like a little tighter. This is from Red Dress Boutique. The Instagram is called Shop Red Dress and I love it. It was just so summery and flowy and cute. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start making dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one.